Hey, Bri, and good morning, everybody. We are starting to wrap up our show here about 15 minutes left before 7 a.m. And we still got a lot to deliver to you. Today is a high fire danger day. Now we are starting to look towards tomorrow a little bit. What's our damaging wind threat? What are we worried about? Well, we'll have gusts of the 60 to 70 mile per hour range in the lower elevations tomorrow, but up in the mountains tonight through tomorrow, it could be a lot worse. And now the air is thinner up high in the mountains, so it doesn't pack as much of a punch, but the wind speeds will be stronger. Mountain snow is coming our way tonight through Tuesday, but we're thinking like the continental divide and it kind of washes out when it gets to the front range. So for instance, like Teller County, you might see a little uh, rain to snow tomorrow, but it shouldn't really accumulate. Temperatures are in the 30s in Colorado Springs and Pueblo, 30 down in Walsenburg, 20s in Trinidad, and we got some 30s out the door through the plains. So it's cold, but you know what? Actually, today won't be that bad temperature wise. Very similar to yesterday. And the only wind that's really kind of gusting around right now is a little north of Monument Hill and at times south of Trinidad through the Raton Mesa. This is kind of a snapshot of what some of the strongest winds could be through the daytime. First of all, it is a westerly and southwesterly wind and so that is going to help warm us up. It's a Chinook downslope wind. It's uh, going to be gusting in the 30 mile per hour range from Pueblo to the Pikes Peak region and east. But then Walsenburg, Trinidad and west are our mountains and valleys. Oh, we'll probably be gusting over 40 miles per hour. Now today the humidity will also be very low. This is a big part of the fire danger. Not only is it windy, the humidity is below 15% on most locations. And yesterday the humidity was actually as low as like 3% in a few spots. And so yesterday was a worse fire danger day than today is, but today is still prime for a grass fire. So we're hoping that doesn't happen. Temperatures out there are going to be in the 60s and 70s through the afternoon, but let's go ahead and jump into the extended here. What's coming our way Tuesday? That is the big day for us. Why? Because of the wind, everybody, it'll just be a super windy day out there. So in the lower elevations, we will probably get gusts in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. And to be honest, for a lot of El Paso County, the gusts are probably going to be over 50 miles per hour. Now up towards Monument and west into the foothills and then up into the mountains, I think the gusts are going to be a lot stronger, likely over 50 miles per hour. Going to be in the 50s and 60s through the weekend, and uh, we will see some fire danger likely come back from Friday through the weekend. Pueblo, we know that we're actually going to get some pretty strong winds tomorrow. Modeling has been a lot more consistent that we could gust over 50 miles per hour through the daytime on Tuesday, but I think we're dry looking. Today we're dry and tomorrow through Wednesday we look dry to me. Canyon City, we are going to be pretty windy today, but I actually think tomorrow looks windier and we're going to have high fire danger, so that impacts scales for the wind and for the fire danger. It'll be way windier south of town into the wet mountains, so kind of keep that in mind. And then Woodland Park, so we should get some rain to snow to try to wash through the city tomorrow afternoon. It shouldn't really accumulate and some of it will actually be there towards mid morning and then just a flurry or two as possible on Wednesday.